begin this morning with breaking news. Today, the search continues for escaped murderers Richard Matt and David Sweat. Both are considered dangerous to the public, and this morning, police are stepping up security as students and teachers start the school week. WPTC's Vanessa Mashanya is live out there this morning. She's in Danamora. Vanessa, what's going on right now? Hey, David, we're outside of the prison right here in Dana Mora, as you said, and uh, we've been seeing corrections vehicles, we've been seeing state trooper vehicles um, pass by this for all the morning um, and uh, with barking canine units. So, this is an active search uh, on day three. But as students and parents are getting ready to start the school day today, uh, school administrators say that they are stepping up security uh, across the county. Now, take a look at this video. This is video from the uh, phase two of the search. This was yesterday. And the superintendent over at Saranac Central School District says they are going to be beefing up security. Uh, state troopers are going to be have a presence at all of the schools in the district today. They also say that Saranac buses will be waiting, uh, get allotting extra time for students to come out of their house for the buses so the kids don't have to wait outside if they do not feel safe. Also, they say that recess has been canceled, outside recess has been canceled. Now, they're not the only district in the county who are taking precautions. Late last night, Plattsburgh City Schools sent out a message on their Facebook page saying that they, uh, parents will notice some security, temporary security operational changes uh, today. And also, Beekman Town says they are going to be stepping up security as well. If you're concerned about security at your child's school, call the administration office. Um, as they suggest, and you can get the lowdown on what measures will be taking be taken at your child's school. For now, live in Dana Mora, I'm Vanessa Mishanya, WPTZ News Channel 5. All right, Vanessa, we'll check back in with you in a bit. And uh, as she was saying, more than 250 law enforcement and corrections officers are still on the streets out there around Dana Mora as the search continues for the two men. Right now, there is a $100,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of those convicts. Again, both considered a danger to the public. WBTC's Rachel Cars has the latest. As the manhunt for two escaped prisoners stretches on, more than 250 law enforcement and correction officers are still on the streets surrounding Dana Mora. All available assets and necessary assets are being brought to bear. <laughs> Beyond boots on the ground, canine teams and multiple agencies, Governor Andrew Cuomo put out a reward in hopes of capturing the two men. He says, quote, we will offer a $100,000 reward for information that leads to the apprehension or arrest of both of the escapees. $50,000 for information leading to the apprehension of, or arrest of one of the escapees. Police say 35 year old David Sweat and 49 year old Richard Matt used an elaborate plan involving power tools to break out of the Clinton Correctional Facility early Saturday morning. This is the first time anyone, let alone two convicted murderers, has ever escaped from the maximum security portion of the prison since it opened in 1865. These are very dangerous individuals. The state police asked that the public. Take no chances, make no efforts to apprehend them, and report any suspicious activity. If you see something, say something. Governor Cuomo says state police have received more than 150 tips. The governor says, with the help of the community, he remains confident it's only a matter of time before they capture the inmates. He says, quote, As your governor, I'm asking all New Yorkers to make yourself part of this. Do your duty as a citizen of this great state and member of the community and pass along any information you have, and we will not rest until we have these individuals back in custody. In Dana Moore, Rachel Kars, WPTZ News Channel 5.